what we have here this is a um, amplifier that has been a friend of mine built and I helped him a little bit on it um, it's uh, based off an old schematic for an RCA 50 watt per channel amplifier it was in a tube manual that I had had from several years ago so basically this is a modified version of it and uh, kind of a home brew amplifier and um, as you can see it's pretty well made um, it's using the uh, 7027A tubes Sylvania output tubes uses four of them um, also these are the preamps each side is separate the filament transformers um, that are used to supply the filament voids are separate transformers so actually these amplifiers are separate uh, even though they're on the same chassis they have separate um, transformers for the filament supply voids now this uses a bucking transformer and also uses a um, two output transformers as you can see here and this is the power transformer most of these parts are pretty much uh, you want to call them uh, um, army surplus parts some of them and uh, so anyway he made my buddy made the chassis for this and uh, came out pretty good actually there's been some certain modifications on it this is a, a bias board that is used to um, provide automatic tube bias to the cathodes and it has little uh, lights that turn blue so this is a self-biasing uh, amplifier and uh, try to use match tubes if tubes aren't matched it kind of matches them up for you so but you see there's quite a bit of work here and there's your there's the one filament transformer for that side and filament transformer for that side so basically as you can see it's pretty much surplus parts an old rack cabinet um, as you can see is used and I wish we had we'll have to get another video of the insides of it as it was being assembled and we'll have you know put that up this is an extra ground wire it was installed there was a little bit of humming inside the amplifier to the speakers because it was a floating ground as you can see so once that wire was attached it eliminated the humming so we do have some uh, videos of it working and we'll try to get some pictures of it posted as far as the rest of it goes you know the assembling of it so anyway that's what we have